Overnight, Brazil's president posting a video of himself taking hydroxychloroquine with a thumbs up and a smile. The controversial drug, not proven to work against the coronavirus, had been promoted repeatedly by President Trump, the two leaders together in March. <laughs> Bolsonaro telling reporters he started feeling unwell over the weekend and was worse on Monday, testing positive. Who wants to see my face, he says. I'm calm, thank God. Days earlier, at a July 4th barbecue at the American ambassador's residence, no masks or social distancing in this photo. The US ambassador testing negative, now in quarantine as a precaution. Bolsonaro, who is 65, has downplayed the threat of coronavirus to both him and his country. Attending packed rallies, riding a horse, even a jet ski. No meu caso particular. With my athletic history, if I were infected, I'd have no reason to worry, he told Brazilians in April, calling coronavirus a little flu. His opponents protesting, banging pots and pans. Brazil's infections soaring, second only to America, now one and a half million cases and 66,000 deaths. Bolsonaro responding, so what? What do you want me to do? This morning, the World Health Organization wishing him well. We wish His Excellency well, and His Excellency will be back to office as soon as possible. And this morning, the Brazilian Press Association says it will file a lawsuit accusing the president of endangering its journalists at that small news conference where he said that he had tested a positive, Craig. One thing that's really worrying people is that millions of Brazilians will look to the health of their president to determine how they behave in the months ahead. And of course, how coronavirus affects one individual is no scientific measure.